Hey, welcome back to Anybit Thief Dreams. So, you know I have a F256K2 and a healthy obsession with chip music. So, what do I do if I can plug in a MIDI in keyboard, can use a, a PS2 mouse? And what happens? Well, I design programs like these. So, this project I never shown before, but it's basically uh, a chip tweaker and I can like expose all the registers of the SID chip. And as you know, the F256K2 has two of them, so I can do neat stuff like this. I can play pulse waves, and I can, I can change the modulation in real time with my mouse. and the attack, decay, sustain, release value, and every other value that you can tweak with the SID chip. But I kind of painted myself in the corner, so... I kind of got entangled with the UI, with the, the values that I needed to change and the registers needed for the SID chip. So I'm going to probably abandon this project because it became too unwieldy and it's uh, straining under its own weight. This is a new program, so as you can see, I reused some code for the piano graphics. It works as expected, and I really needed to do something that would quickly go to the values so I can edit them like directly and see them as well. Because the goal is to export those values and bring them to other projects. Sawtooth, pulse, and noise. So if I keep to the pulse wave, I can do kind of the same thing as uh, earlier. Oops. But one thing I was really after is to dig around for new instruments. So I added a randomizer and the goal is to be able to save those findings into a file that can be imported back to other projects like uh, the games I want to uh, program. So you have to dig around and not everything is going to make some sound. So you, you really have to keep trying. One thing I can do to help uh, hear something is to turn off the filters because there's a weird interaction between the voices of the SIDs. So if I like I abandon these interactions, I'm gonna probably hear something better. So the SID chip is pretty hard to understand, especially when you get to these, um, like, one voice modulating the others, especially if you have polyphony. So this is why I reused this code, and within a few hours, I was able to target this other chip, the OPL3YMF262, which is in the FPGA of the F256K2. So let me start it. So you see exact same interface. I changed the colors a bit, but uh, the registers are, of course, a little different. And you start off with the Lemmings leading instrument, of course. And of course, the OPL3, uh, uh, when it's activated, has 18 channels of polyphony, so it's pretty hard to hit them all. And of course, I added the random thing.
And the goal would be to take a standard MIDI file and dedicate some channels to reroute them to specific chip instruments, like uh, from the OPL3 here. Uh, so instead of using the standard MIDI instruments that you get from uh, the SAM chip on board the K2, you would target instead some Yamaha instruments designed with these rich parameters. Uh, as you can see, like the envelope makes some of those sounds very interesting over time. The attack and the sustain part and the release part are very different sometimes. So I'm gonna show like some of this dispatching of sounds from a standard MIDI file next time. Uh, I've got code working already, so it's uh, it's been cooking for some months now. So it's uh, kind of ready to be integrated into uh, the current Game Jam project I've got going. So I'll see you next time. And if you wanted to see something similar made for MS-DOS PCs, I made a video a few weeks ago. You can check that out on my channel. So as always, take care and see you next time.